Hi, this is Sean from Technique Peak, and I just wanted to go over today the fader test or the flexion, adduction, and internal rotation test to help rule out conditions of the hip, uh, mostly looking at labral tears or potential femoral acetabular impingement syndrome. So to perform the test, you have the patient lying down on their back. You're going to passively flex them into maximal flexion, adduction, and internal rotation, just as the test name indicates, and you're looking for reproduction of pain uh, of the patient's symptoms of their trademark pain, uh, usually in the anterior hip, what's known as the C sign. If you make a C with your hand and put them up to the front of your hip, that's the most common location of pain for intraarticular hip pain. So I'm gonna take the patient here, I'm gonna explain the test, and then we're gonna bring the leg up into maximal flexion, adduction, and then internal rotation. It's a closed pack position, so you're not gonna get a ton of motion there, and you're looking for whether or not that reproduces the patient's pain, consistent with what they've been experiencing and reporting to you. Uh, and that's different from the opposite side. And you would compare that side bilaterally and look at reproduction of symptoms. Uh, a positive test is not very uh, specific for any one particular diagnosis, um, but it clues you into something that may be going on within the hip joint. Uh, if you can do this test without any symptoms, uh, it is a highly sensitive test and can help you kind of clear the hip joint from any pathology and you may be looking towards the back or toward another structure.